First we have to get some KJ for us to start. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Did you pull yourself up on the couch? You are so big. When did you get so big? Have an egg. Hey guys, and good morning. I'm shutting our bedroom door so little mister doesn't crawl in there. Where are you going? Come back this way. Come on. Come this way. Come on this way. Bobby, what are you doing? Come. <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> good boy. Good job. You're so big. We have just been hanging out in his room for the last hour. He's been playing. Sophie's downstairs playing with her toys, but she keeps coming up here every like 10 minutes. Hey, Hayes, come back here. <laughs> and Xavier's in the shower right now. But I'm trying to organize Hayes' dresser right now because it was a hot mess before. It was not good. I had it so nice and organized for the longest time. And then we got that terrible sickness like, what was it, like two months ago? And we kind of just gave up on his dresser <laughs> and a lot of other things. So I'm trying to get everything back in order. Um, he's gone. <laughs> Come back here, baby. Come here. I, I have toys for you, Bubby. There's nothing in Sissy's room that you'd want. No, come back here. What are you doing? Do you want the rainbow? But anyways, I have been trying to get his dresser back in order. It is definitely time for me to go shopping for both of the kids. They're both growing so fast and growing out of a lot of their clothes. So we need to go shopping for some basics. This is what I got going on in his dresser so far. We got onesies, pants, pajamas. This is like bibs and hats and yeah. I think just bibs and hats. I have like three or four laundry bins downstairs that I need to get around to doing. And then this bottom drawer is still such a mess. These are clothes that I'm gonna give to my friend because she's having a baby boy. I honestly don't even know what's in this bin. It started off as nicer clothes, like the outfit he wore to my mom's engagement, and then also the outfit he wore to my brother's wedding. But now it's just like stuff I need to go through. So we definitely still need to go through that drawer and figure that situation out. And then his top drawer isn't too, too bad. I definitely need to add some more diapers and wipes in here. But other than that, this one usually stays pretty good. I'm sorry if you guys hear like music and like bass in the background. Xavier's in the shower listening to music and I don't want to tell him to stop. But, oh, he's out of the shower, Hi, Never mind. What's up? I'm just cleaning Hayes' nice. room. Just hanging up some of his stuff. Hi, mister. We need to get more hangers for him. Yeah. Xavier took the little guy from me. He's gonna go feed him some hard boiled eggs. Today is Monday. Sophie didn't have school today because it is Louis Riel Day. If you're from Canada, happy Louis Riel Day. A lot of mixed opinions there. Louis Riel is actually a very distant cousin of mine, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Sophie didn't have school today because of that. Some of the comments on my last video were mm, interesting. I definitely should have elaborated on the situation a little bit better. So partially my fault. But if you guys haven't seen my last video, um, we were at Walmart and someone was just like carrying a knife around which to me it was like super weird because you don't really see a lot of that where I live I do live in Canada, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys know But the weapon laws here are a lot different than in the States So seeing someone carry around a knife it wasn't in like a holster or anything It was just like in like I don't know how to describe it But it was a woman and she was wearing jeans and the knife was just like in her belt loop It wasn't like covered or anything like the blade and everything was just like hanging out. So that was like super strange to me. And then I had some comments saying it was something along the lines of like, you know you're privileged when, or you know you grew up in a gated community when, something along those lines. But I actually grew up in a really rough area. I have never really talked about my childhood like at all on here because it is something that I'm kind of still like working through. Maybe one day I'll open up and kind of talk about it more. That is definitely not the case whatsoever. Um, I have seen a lot of stuff growing up, a lot of stuff like that. So it's not like I've never like seen a knife or like I'm like so naive that like people don't carry weapons around to like protect themselves or whatever. I know that completely and I'm all for keeping yourself safe, keeping 
people around you safe. Anyway, just got done hanging up his clothes. This is like my favorite sleeper that he has, you guys. It's from Old Navy. The only thing is, it is like super, I don't want to say bad quality, but it's like not very good quality. Um, it feels so, so comfy, but it's way, way, way too stretchy. So his legs always end up up here. It is size three to six months, but it is huge on him still. The color though is just so beautiful and it has the mittens. I do have a few other little pieces from Old Navy and the quality on this one is completely different. It's a lot more like structured than this one. A weird thing that always makes me so happy is carpet lines. It is like my favorite thing ever. Look how beautiful they are. Good morning, so. Good morning. I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, what are you doing? Cleaning out the windows. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to leave you alone? <laughs> you can stay with me if you want. Okay. Sophie, you're just like me. <laughs> you're cleaning your brother's window now. What is this? That's his baby monitor. So we can watch him, make sure he's nice and safe. While Sophie gets some cleaning done over there, I'm going to work on something very exciting for you guys. I promise you guys I do not make her clean or like really even ask her to clean unless it's up after herself. She just enjoys doing it. All right, let's get to work. Are you making music with Dada? You wanna do this? Go on here! Do you wanna play piano? Because the preset doesn't have those, it's so low. Look what I just found in here. This was 2017. This is Sophie's first Christmas. That's Sophie with Santa for the first time ever. You gonna go find Sissy? She's in the playroom. Go get her. Look at this, honey. Move, honey. Right into the mouth, of course. Look what I just found. Sophie's very first passport picture. Can you see? Oh my goodness, it kind of got ruined, which I'm so upset about, but look how cute you are, Soph. Oh my goodness. We have to get Hayes' passport picture right away. I also just found a bunch of like other random photos. Do you guys remember when she used to carry corny around everywhere? <laughs> the other day, Xavier went into their little ball pit and he popped it. It's like the teeniest hole though, so it's gonna be really easy to patch. It's somewhere along this ring. Can we do something today? Like what? I don't know. Oh, what do you wanna do? I don't know, I haven't left the house in so long though. Can we go to the mall with the kids? Okay. Very fun. We kind of need to go shopping. It's not very fun though. I say we go to Walmart. We get the groceries that we need. I think we need toilet paper. And then we get chips. And we can have a movie night. Sounds good to me. <gasps> hi, buddy. <laughs> hi, hi. He's coming. Xavier got this for me for my birthday, which was in September, and we still haven't built it. Look how cute it is though. It's Lego flowers. Hi, so. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you gonna start working out?
since we're moving next month, I am super conflicted on whether I want to crib train him or not because it is definitely about time he starts using his crib. But at the same time, the place that we're temporarily moving into is only a two bedroom. So one of them is of course gonna be Sophie's room and then one of them is gonna be our bedroom. And I don't know if we're gonna be sharing a room with him or if we're gonna put him in the same room as Sophie. I don't really know what's gonna happen yet. We still have to figure that out. But I'm gonna try and lay him down in his crib for a nap and see how that goes. All right, let's see how this goes. What's going on down here? Playing some switch sports, but this isn't working. Was I missing out on all the fun? We're gonna do bowling. Who's gonna win? Us. Our team? <laughs> you got this. Good job! No, good job. That's fair! Good job, you guys. Good job! <laughs> Dad is too good at this. Dada one. on her. A little bit. It looks huge. Sophie, can you come here for a second? It, it looks fine. like it would be a bit big, but with like her clothes underneath, it should be good. Yeah. Is it cute? Hi. Hi. You're on? I got both my kids on the cart. We are now home and we are starting to get little Missy ready for school because, or not school, <laughs> ready for bed because she has school tomorrow. So, do you want to pay your open for school or do you want Mama to? What do you want to wear? I think tomorrow's pink t-shirt day actually. You have this shirt? Is that a t-shirt? Yeah, let me search it up. Pink t-shirt day is in two days, so we have to save this for two days from now, okay? So, pink t-shirt day is in two days? Yeah. This shirt's gonna be perfect for anti-bullying day. It says, be a good human, and then stop bullying now. What does stop bullying mean? It says, stop bullying. Do you know what bullying is? Yeah. It's like fighting, like this. Yes, Ooh. fighting can be bullying. What else can bullying be? Uh, making them go, like kicking. Kicking can be bullying, yeah. What about our words? Can we bully with our words by saying mean things? Yeah, like. Stupid. Yes, that's a bad word, huh? I mean, don't say that to people. Yeah, and don't like you. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Are you a bully? No. No, you're not a bully. Do you want to wear your big sister shirt? Oh no, this one's love book. My piggy bully. <laughs> Girl, don't count your money right now. We need to get ready for bed. I have a great idea. What? What about this shirt? Yes! Okay, we'll do that shirt. Which pants do you think will look cute with that? Aha! See if it just looks good. Oh, this is actually really tiny. It is. You're quite a tiny human. Sophie, what song were you singing? Call us crazy. Things are The intro song has been stuck in our head all day. It's so cute. Alright, you want to go say goodnight to your brother? <laughs> Did you give the hog a kiss? Yeah. <laughs> and a hug. Oh, that's nice. Good night vlog. Good night vlog. I did tell Sophie that before she goes to bed, she can um, do a sparkler. We're gonna do it right here at the back door because it's really cold outside and she's about to go to bed. So I'm just gonna open the back door and hope that it doesn't set the fire alarm off. <laughs> Look at her breath, you guys, it's so cold. <laughs> Come here, what are you wearing? We gotta get you changed. <laughs> he had a little nap, but now he's awake. You ready to party? You wanna say party? Did you have a good day, Bobby? <laughs> I had a good day with you. I'm gonna grab the other controller. Okay. If you guys made it this far in the video, comment. 
I gotta look at all the emojis because I feel like we're running out of emojis at this point. If you guys made it this far in the video, comment the little party guy emoji down below because we have a little bit of a surprise coming, huh? And I'll of course try my very hardest to comment one back to you guys. But this is where we're gonna end today's video. We hope you guys all enjoyed and we will see you all in the next one. Say bye-bye.